Hello everybody, Flaming Shark back with another video and today we're going to be reacting to episodes 10 and 11 of Violet Evergarden. So this is the penultimate reaction to the anime series. Uh, obviously we're going to be doing the finale in the next Violet video but then after that we have essentially a movie and then after that we have the movie. So we have multiple movies to react to um, after the finale reaction next time. So we actually have three more Violet Evergarden videos. Obviously, we already did the episode 14 OVA episode earlier in the series. So we already have that taken care of. But we still have our anime finale and then multiple reactions. So we still have three more Violet Evergarden reactions after this. So we're, we're still, we still have a little ways to go. You know, this is a series that I do kind of appreciate kind of taking a little slow. Just the nature of it. it it's, it's, um... It's kind of nice in like two episode sets, which I don't usually like to do two episode sets. Um, but, you know, I think this is the type of show that it fits pretty well with. So, you know, it's worked out. But uh, yeah, we're doing 10 and 11. Shit got real last time. I mean, fuck, Violet was trying to, you know, kill herself, which, Jesus Christ. I mean, anytime we get to that point in an anime, you know shit's gotten real. Um that does sometimes happen in the series that I've reacted to. Uh, I can certainly think of a few uh, where where people have tried to do that in one form or another. And yeah, it was a really, you know, it was a really strong set of episodes. You know, a lot of it was spent on Violet's backstory with um, Gilbert and, you know, how, how she got to where she is with him. But another thing that was focused on in these episodes was we got to see, um, we got to see... Uh, you know, her struggling to that extent with um, being able to accept, you know, the way she was burning up and being able to carry that weight, so to speak. And by the end of the episode, she learned the joys of receiving a letter, and then she kind of got back to work helping out Spencer uh, uh, with a letter for Lucilia Luce and you know, she was starting to come back a bit. And I'm curious where that's going to go in the coming episodes uh, as we kind of approach the finale. And hopefully she's able to kind of further accept herself because she's never going to be able to erase the sins of her past. But she that doesn't mean that she can't continue to help people and do good uh, with the rest of her life, which is hopefully where this goes. And I think it is where this is going to go. But it potentially... Um, I could definitely still see some things getting kind of rough even now, um, between now and the end of the show. So uh, this is going to be a very interesting reaction, to say the least. So I'm really excited for this. So um, I, I don't think I have anything else to say. I think it's time to jump in to episodes 10 and 11. Well, first episode 10 of Violet Evergarden. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We'll dance there with my chair as per usual i feel like at this point honestly uh let's jump into episode 10 of violet evergarden in three two one and play Of course. Of course. Jesus Christ almighty. Holy fucking shit. That was a motherfucking episode. Fuck me. Fuck me. Oh my god. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Oh man. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I might have to take a few before I watch episode 11. Um, yeah. That one got me. That one got me. I don't even know why that one hit more than some of the others. But that one really got me. Holy shit. Well, I'm out of water. I need more water anyway, so... Oh, fuck. Okay, um, let me try to gather my thoughts a little bit on this one. That was beautiful. I mean, pretty obvious, right? I, I found that episode to be quite beautiful, but that was episode 10 of Violet Evergarden, 
And that episode was, I mean, a, a tale as old as time. You know, the mother's passing away slowly but surely, and everyone knows it's coming. And that includes the kid. And she had a really smart, really beautiful idea that, honestly, that's such a great idea. That's an idea that, You know, if, if I was ever in that situation, I I would love to do something similar. Um, Cause that is such a beautiful idea. And it's, oh, that's such a great idea. Um, there probably are things like that that have been done by people, but um, it really is a brilliant idea. And um, it's like, it's sad, of course, right? But it's like a, it's that happy sad that really tends to get me a lot. Um, and that's the thing, right? Like, it's a beautiful sad, I, I guess, is the is the tragically beautiful kind of... It, 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 there's like a an uplifting spirit behind it. And, and that's kind of been the case with most of Violet Evergarden. It's, it's a sad show, but it's a beautifully sad show. It's not really a sad show for the sake of being sad. I guess in that sense, it is kind of a little reminiscent of, like, Your Line April. Um, I guess the difference is, like, that series tends to kind of... I feel like that has more depressing dips. I don't think this show... This show is always kind of um, taking... You know, trying to spew its message, whereas I feel like that show, you, you have more of a journey of just fucking depression. Um, but... I guess that would be probably the best comp of the series I've reacted to. I won't say anything more about Your Line April, because obviously I don't want to spoil it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a good show. Go watch it. I actually own it. i um, not going to bother showing you guys. But uh, yeah, that was a really strong episode. And one of the things that kind of ties this story together, and I mean Violet Evergarden, not this episode is we're seeing the evolution of her emotional state, her ability to comprehend emotions, her ability to understand the, the human condition. And that's something that's been growing over the course of the series, right? She's growing from a doll into a human. And that in of itself adds another layer to it, right? Because she would not have had that reaction at the beginning of the show. Violet, but she had that reaction because of all of her experiences as an auto memoir doll. She's learning the meaning behind life and death and love and sorrow and all these things. She's really under learning these emotions truly, and she's at a point now where she more or less does get it. And it, it, it's really beautiful because she's become a really like a complete human being, and that's something that's really what the story is about, right? Like the, it, there's an episodic nature to it, but that is the linear storytelling arc is Violet's arc into essentially becoming human, um, which uh, feels nearly complete at this point. So I am kind of curious what the final episodes are going to tackle. Um, but uh, yeah, we still have another episode in this set. Uh, yeah, that, that was a, that was wild. Like I said, I'll probably take like 10 minutes or so, you know, wash my face a little bit, chill out, kind of calm down, and then I'll probably fucking cry again at this rate. But um yeah, that that was a that was a beautiful episode and going to be hard to top that one. Um I'm I'm curious to see what what kind of heat episode 11 brings, but episode 10 was some serious fire for sure. I actually don't think that was one of the best episodes. I think that was a, a, a good episode. I don't know, like, I, I mean, it was a really good episode, actually. I don't want to downplay it. I'm still a little surprised that one got me as hard as it did. But, um, yeah, I mean, it did. That's that's what matters in the end. It fucking did. So, shout outs to them, I guess. But, yeah, that was uh, Violet, Ep uh, Violet Evergarden, episode 10. And, yeah, it had a great message about how to, um, about your loved ones and how they'll always be watching you in one form or another, right? And and this was, a, I think, a beautiful 
recognition of that, a beautiful portrayal of that. So I really appreciated this. I thought that was really sweet. And um, I really like how that one ended between just the, you know, it, it was pretty predictable, I feel like, but it was still really sweet. And then also Violet crying at the end was just a nice cherry on top. It just, oh man, that episode just hit perfectly. So yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see what episode 11 of uh, Violet Evergarden has in store for us. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, we're just going to jump right in. I mean, at least for you guys. So uh, yeah, let's check out episode 11 of Violet Evergarden. God, Jesus Christ, fuck me, that actually felt fast, weirdly, 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 episodes like that usually feel like they're long, that episode felt fast, um, the first one, 10 felt a lot longer than 11, 11 flew by, now 11 had no P and an ED, whereas 10 had neither, so 10 was probably literally a couple minutes longer as far as the actual content, like three minutes longer thereabouts. Uh, because like I said, 10 didn't have an OP or ED, whereas 11 had both. So there was that fluff in, in 11 that wasn't in 10. But even still, episode 11 flew by. That was a quick ass episode, at least how it felt. It moved really fast. Um... I mean, obviously that one hit close to home because he was a soldier and he died uh, he f such a fucking pointless death. Um, as unfortunately most soldiers do. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think all military deaths are pointless, but unfortunately, I think way too many are. Uh, that was pretty fucking just. That's a whole nother thing. Like, right when we want to talk about wars and stuff and. And just the tragedy that is war. Um, that That's a whole nother conversation that, you know, Violet Evergarden loosely touches on. Um, but in the end, it's really, you know, this is much more of a thematic thing, not a literal thing with this show. And um, Violet, that, I mean... Like I said, it feels like every episode we're hitting closer and closer to home with Violet. Um, and episode 10 had a kind of bittersweet, tragic, but yet in many ways sweet ending. I feel like episode 11 was like 2% sweet and 98% tragic. Whereas this one, like the previous one was like, 20% sweet and 80% tragic, right? It's like, they both represent death, but it's just, you know, like, like, like episode 10, it was natural causes and it was, you know, it, it's unfortunate and it was really sad, but the girl, you know, grew up and lived her happy life. And in this one, it's just your fucking son slash, you know, childhood friend, lover, boy, fucking dies, gets fucking shot and dies, and, you know, has a shitty-ass death at a really young age, he's fucked, and, you know, the only solace you can have, the only solace you have is the fact that you got that letter at all, like, that, to the point to where you're thankful for that, and that, that just fucked up Violet, it fucked me up, it fucked Violet up, rightfully so, and, oh, God, that's so sad. Fuck me. Man, this show might be setting a record for Emotional Shark. Now, again, I don't think this is, like, one of the best shows I've ever watched. Um, It's very good. It's very good. It's just fucking emotional, man. And And that doesn't... And I don't want you guys to necessarily equate that as me thinking that this show is just, like, on another level... I think it's very good. I, I don't want to... I, I do want to stress I do really appreciate this show and what it does, but this show is just a fucking cry fest. This show's just fucked. Um, God. I've never... 
like I said, I don't remember a reaction series where I was this consistently emotional. I mean, I've definitely, I've definitely had reaction series where I've been emotional. I've had, you know, a lot of finales that I've cried. Um, I think probably the worst I can remember was the Code Geass finale. That fucked me up. Um, but, you know, even recently with something like Amphibia, like, I got emotional at that finale. A lot of finales get me. Um, this just... This is just, like, basically the whole show. I mean, it's just the nature of the show. It's fucking fucked. And it's like, Christ. I really am so curious what they're going to do with the final two episodes. I, I'm really struggling to piece together what... Um, what they're they have left to do like what they're going to throw at us in the final two episodes to hopefully end off on a much better note than this penultimate set of the actual series leaves off on um because this was a very rough note and i'm hopeful i'm hoping for a rather positive ending uh, i wouldn't be surprised if it's more bittersweet than that but i am very curious to see how it goes and of course Next time, we will be finishing the show, Violet Evergarden, but we do have, um, we do still have two more, uh, Violet Evergarden videos, uh, after that, so we, we actually are not done at all, uh, because we still have a couple more videos after that, and those will be, uh, interesting, I'm sure, but, uh, yeah, this was a, this was a crazy fucking episode, um, of, of the show, I mean, I think this was the better episode, for me, I think, God, they were both, like, just really emotional. Like, as much as it, like, hurt, I, I do kind of like just the... I, I felt like episode 11 cuts off very suddenly. It just ends. And I really liked that. I, I, I don't really remember an episode of Violet Evergarden before this one. Like, I feel like all of them have more of a resolution. And even though this one did have its revolution resolution... Unlike all the others, this one felt like it just snap of the finger, end of episode. This felt like it abruptly cut off in just a brutal way. And, and, and I feel like it worked really well for this episode. And I really liked that about it. But, um, yeah, I mean, shit, what else is there to say? This was, this was a rough set. I mean, I'm not even a set, like, I mean, it is a set, but like a pair of episodes. It was just two episodes, but holy shit. Was there a lot of craziness, um, I guess I could say, in these two episodes. A lot of um, emotional potatoes that happened in these two episodes. So it was uh, something else, that's for sure. But um, I did really enjoy this set, for sure. I mean, both of these episodes were quite the experience to watch, clearly. And I definitely uh, did not have fun. But I definitely enjoyed the episodes. I'm going to have to make that distinction because this show's not fun. <laughs> that, that's not the description I would use for Violet Evergarden. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch in, in, in both visually. Um, you know, the, the music's beautiful. Visuals are beautiful. The characters are beautiful. The fucking, the actual show itself is beautiful. Um, but it's not fun. That is one description, one descriptor that I would not use for Violet Evergarden. Um, the character too. The character isn't necessarily fun either. She, uh, you know, kind of didn't didn't quite come out with that uh, that ability. But um, yeah, that was uh, something else, man. And oh, baby, um, three more sets to go. But next set will be a finale of sorts because it will be the actual finale. And then we have again, the, 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 uh, eternity. I think it's like eternity in the auto memory doll, I think is what it's called. And then the movie. Um, so like I said, we still have a few more violet Evergarden videos left. And then after that, we will be jumping into Owari Monogatari here in slot one. So I'm sure you guys will be excited for all of that. But, um, yeah, that was a crazy episode, to say the least. So, uh, anyways, I, I guess that's all I have to say. I don't really think I need to dive any deeper into the uh, pain and sorrow of Violet and how she's um, feeling things 
And, uh, I mean, it's very human. It's a good thing. You know, like I said, you know, that was an important thing in episode 10. They mentioned it's okay for, you know, even as an adult, it's okay to cry. And it's always okay to cry. Uh, that is a really important lesson. Violet Evergarden is a show that does that quite well, both with its characters and with its audience, um, at least in my case. Um, but it is okay to cry. And that's something that, you know, I, I say for memes, like, oh, I'm not going to cry. But I have nothing against crying when I watch media. And I do sometimes. Um, but, yeah. Um, I can't even imagine what the next set's going to be like. I mean, I... There's no, like, I want to say there's no way it could be worse than this, but I don't want to say that because then it'll be worse than this. So, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll fucking see. Jesus Christ. I mean, you kind of know what you're getting with this show. I feel like this show always delivers about what you'd expect. I mean, maybe not narratively, but in the end, you kind of know what to expect with this show. For better or worse. Usually for better. But, uh, yeah. You guys know the drill. If you want to support the channel, Patreon's down below in the description. Discord server as well. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, those of you who have not yet decided, without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. If you couldn't tell, I'm sussin'. Thanks for watching. Peace.